Good afternoon everyone. Now we would like to explain about spray dryer. So basically, the spray dryer is used to convert liquid materials into droplets. So the droplets are brought into contact with hot, hot air with high pressure and the results are the dry powder. So basically, spray dryer works in three steps. The first one is atomization, where the nozzle or a rotary atomizer turns the liquid into a small liquid droplets. And the second step, which is drying, involves the process where the droplets are both in contact with hot air. And finally, the, the dry powder from the exhaust gas is recovered through cyclone or back filter. For sample preparation, first we have to mix. The powder is mixed with water, and then we heat it. And after that, we add a bulking agent, for example, malpodextrin, to increase the weight. And, and then we heat it, the powder, water, and the mastrodextrin, and we must make sure that it dissolves completely. Then we test it using refractometer and reach certain value, usually 10. And then we can spray it right after a day certain, uh, they have reached the certain value. Spray dry can be applied in food industry, for example, in milk powder, coffee, tea, eggs, cereal, spices, flavoring, starch, and fat derivatives, vitamins, enzymes, stevia, coloring, and etc. And it can also apply in pharmaceutical for antibiotics, medical ingredients, and additives, or in the industrial, such as in plant pigments, ceramic materials, catalyst support, and also microalgae. First, connect the spray dryer to a pump. Second, flow the atomization hose with water to clean the particle from the previous usage. Put the atomization inlet to the sample to be spray dried and put the atomization nozzle to the spray dryer. Turn on the blower and the heater of the spray dryer so spray drying can start. Monitor the pressure of the pump for uniform feed flow. After usage, turn off the blower and the heater of the spray dryer. Then. Let the spray dryer cool down. Clean the atomization hose and nozzle, then turn the pump off. After it has cooled down, clean the pipes of the spray dryer. So, here are the advantage and disadvantage of spray dryer. Firstly, I'm going to tell you about the advantage. The, uh, the advantage of spray dryer are dry particle size could be controlled easily. Second, many heat sensitive products can be spray dried easily at relatively high temperature. Third, short residence time is required. Fourth, minimum overall flavor loss in the food industry. And fifth, ensure high product quality. Whereas, here are the disadvantage. Firstly, cost, it is costly and bulky. Second, the cleaning time is time consuming. And last, a low of heat is wasted as thermal efficiency is low. Display dryer is applicable to produce powders, uh, especially for beverages, carbohydrate-derived products, protein-derived products, health and flavor and fat-derived products. Beverages itself are divided to several products. Uh, the first is li liquid ingredients such as nuts and seeds or juices, and also dry ingredients for tea, herbal tea, and panel compounds. This spray dryer is also applicable to health products, for example, plant materials such as leaves, herbs, roots, or branches. And second, it's also possible to powderize animal materials such as glands and organs. And lastly, vitamins. And also, it is applicable for carbohydrate derived products such as starches, malts, sucrose, and protein products such as animal products, plant proteins, and gelatins. And for other products such as fat derived products, animal fats, plant fats, and natural and synthetic flavors. There's also a hazard when using this spray dryer. The most common one is dust explosion. Minimum explosible concentration of many food products is less than 100 mg per meter cubic. And there are five elements which is contributing to the explosion. First one is oxidant, ignition source, dispersion of dust, confinement of dust, and combustible dust. The example of combustible products are egg white, milk, green coffee, potato starch, walnut dust, wheat flour, and many more. So we can minimize the risk of an explosion dust. And there are some examples of way we can done. For example, an explosion dust could is never allowed to form. 
and then the atmosphere is sufficiently depleted of oxygen. And all ignition sources capable of igniting dust are removed, and also ensure the secondary fuel source not available. So this is the example of dust explosion. It firstly happened in the Debrus Grain Evaluator. It happened in June 8, 1998. And secondly, it's happened in February 2010 in China. Thank you for watching our presentation and hope you understand more about spray dryer.